Hey guys, it just got really cold in Florida, so let's go ahead and tear out the interior in the Focus. Fight so my plan today is to go ahead and take out the seats and the carpet and put down sound insulation and then take the doors out, the door uh, panels out, and replace the speakers. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these seats. Um, I have already done this before in another video, so I'll link to that here. But um, yeah, I'm going to do that and then work my way around taking the bottom panels out and then the carpet. I'm just going to kind of peel that up maybe, or I can take it out and clean it even better. So we'll see how that goes. So in an effort not to spend all day vacuuming, I went ahead and stopped. Um, it's okay. We'll do a little bit more later maybe. But it's time to pull the center console. And I've already showed you how to do that, so I'll link to that video now as well. Um, but once that's out, I should be able to go ahead and go pull the carpet up as much as I want. Yeah. Going pretty easy so far. Okay, so at this point, I've gone ahead and got this all out, cleaned this up. I actually decided to paint this little metal bracket. It had like some surface rust on it, so I went ahead and cleaned it up, painted it. Looks a little bit better now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off these sidings here and on this side. Um, this should be okay. There's nothing connecting it. But yeah, after that, I think I can go ahead and pull the whole carpet out, and then we can get started on laying down the soundproofing. Alright, so I just removed those, that one um, little kick stand bar there and then the two over here. And it pulled out pretty easily. So I guess I'll need to pull up that stripping, the Ford soundproofing, whatever that is. Just like I did in the trunk. That side's super heavy. But yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up the soundproofing for what I had, so let's check that out. As you can see, I pretty much finished all of that back here, started working my way down, hit some key points, uh, did as much as I could underneath the driver's seat, just that's a bit left. I could probably order some more, but we'll see how it sounds. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started on the sound system now. And along with powering the new subwoofer, which is the Pioneer in the stock box, um, I'm going to be powering all of the door speakers. So those are getting replaced and powered with that amp. Just don't know where to put the amp for that one now. You have to figure that out. Went ahead and ran the wire through here. down through here just took that cover off and now we're gonna run it through here while all the carpets out making it a little bit easier and over to that side 
uh, we had to go to Walmart pick up a couple more wires, uh, but we're chugging along now. I'll show you what we've done. So on this side, I cut a little bit out for the amp. Uh, ran the wires this way for power. Um, I got to figure out where the ground's going to go. Um, RCA's run down this way here, and follow a wire path already in, like set up. And we'll zip tie that down. It goes around underneath. And this is where I'm at here now. So I'm going to try to figure out the best route to go from here up into the radio. Um, as you can see, that's ran down this way here. Zoom in a little bit through the little supports. But yeah, we're, we're chugging along. It's getting late. Might have to finish this up tomorrow. Definitely have to finish the interior up tomorrow. Alright guys, so with the blue wire ran up here and the RCAs ran up here, it's now time to put the carpet back. Um, just plopping it back down to where it needs to be. It's really easy. As you can see, there's some of the sound deadening poking through. Just kind of shoving it where it needs to go. I mean, this is a really easy carpet to install. Like, for this, I would, would have had to have removed the shifter. But what I did was I just snipped one side of it and passed it through. You can see that on that side. So now it just meets up right there. But yeah, I mean, just pushing it over this little bracket, which I painted because of the surface rust. And then, yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna fall back into it, so really. So as you can see, I went ahead and put the interior pieces in. Um, I have the center console out still because I still have to hit the radio up after this, install the RCAs and the remote wire as well as finish up the back. And we'll also work on the door panels tomorrow. So until then. What's up you guys? So it is a nice cold morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, finishing up the speakers. I'm going to go ahead and install the final amp which is sitting on a shelf right now and run the wires hopefully for the door speakers which will be powered by the smaller amp that we installed yesterday. So I guess let's get started. Alright so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one basically on top of the mat when it goes back in. So I'll install everything to where it's in the back here. Alright, so here is how that finished trunk looks. I need to clean up some of the wires on the amp, but it's still pretty clean. Of course, you pick up the mat, and there's some stuff under there, but that's what matters right here. I've been hard at work getting the radio portion uh, figured out. Um, it's not the easiest, uh, but I'll go ahead and show you what I've found. I really couldn't find a place that had sub out specifically. Um, so what I did was I used the, where are they, um, the speaker wires, which I'm going to be using a uh, powered sub for the speakers anyway. Um, I teed into those, so my amp um, on the subwoofer side tees out of one of these RCAs, so that comes down into the splitter right here, and then tees out to the back. Um, it's all quite a mess. I've tried cleaning up some stuff, zip time wires, but it still just looks terrible. Uh, the hardest part I found really was getting the key on. So there was a wire. Let me try to find it again. This is my remote wire here. 
Um, there was, I think it was a gray wire. Yeah, this, so this one right here. Coming out of this, goes into the remote and then towards the back. And that's your key on for the Tesla style radio. Ah. So I went ahead and turned on some uh, no copyright music, some bass hitting stuff. Pretty happy with that. I get to um, have some bass, which I don't want a lot of in the car, and retain trunk space. Well, I went ahead and pulled off the um, the panels and looked inside here, as well as inside this part here, and there seems to be no way for me to get wires through here. So what I'm going to have to do is actually tap in through the wires here. I think this is the right wires for the the radio, um, but unfortunately I can't run because I'll usually I'll run a new speaker wire straight from the amp. But it looks like for now I'll have to bypass the factory wires, which I don't want to do. All right, so with those issues, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go ahead and swap the speakers over. Um, I haven't showed you yet, I don't think, but these are the Pioneers that I'm doing. So there's a, a six and a half inch, I believe, four way. Um, they're definitely a nice speaker, a little bit louder. Um, I, right now I have like a two way Alpine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch those out with these. Um, for right now, uh, I'll go ahead and power them in a little bit later once I figure out how to route that new wire through. But uh, I, that's where I'm going to end today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed what we did today and, well, through a couple days. And um, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps us out. Hit that like button. And uh, don't forget the bell. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.